Hey, Justin. Um, have that uh, breakup on second and ten in the middle of the second half where um, you just you turned around and it was almost a pick. What did that play look like from your perspective? Um, in my perspective, he was just in man coverage. Um, he gave me a, a quick little uh, outside release off the line. Um, after I saw the release, I kind of already knew it was going to be a fake. Um, basically, I tried to get my head around as quick as possible, uh, tried to high point it at this highest point. Unfortunately, I didn't come down with it, but uh, most most definitely got the PBU. So that's that's basically our main goal every time it's a fade ball located at its highest point and uh, just make a play. And then there was that scramble drill where you caught up to the guy and kind of punched it out of his hands. Same question, what did that um, look like? Yeah, so at first, at the start of the route, he, um, he released pretty much inside and quarterback um, scrambled. So basically our scramble rules is lock on. When you see the quarterback start scrambling, basically you just lock on to whoever, whatever receiver you're either guarding or whatever receiver you're around. And um, he started, uh, the quarterback started rolling out and um, I kind of lost my guy a little bit, but I ended up gaining back. Um, and then I was in basically trail technique. So I'm basically taught not to look back when you're in trail technique. So uh, I knew the ball was coming. I saw his eyes go up and I uh, basically punched through both of his hands and uh, made the play. Thank you. The next is John Kurtz. Yeah, Justin, what, what to you is the biggest difference between the defense right now and the defense that played week one against Arkansas State? Um, definitely, we are, we are, we're, we're way more hungry here, um, way more disciplined for sure. Um, and then we just we, we just have a, a, a team full of, full of guys who really want to win. Um, so I think that's just the biggest difference. Uh, we never give up ever, uh, even when we're down or we're getting big plays made on us, and, and, and but we just never give up. We always have that mindset of the game is not over. You know, we have this thing in our locker room saying, uh, we just got to play the full 60. Uh, that's just what we basically put our heads into after week one, play the full 60. The game is never over until that fourth fourth quarter whistle is, is, is finally blown. So that's kind of the mindset. We probably didn't have week one that we turned into following week. Thanks, Justin. Time for two more, starting with Fitz. Yeah, Justin, you kind of answered this a little bit, but what made the defense so good today against TCU? Um, physicality and discipline. Uh, I think they are uh, going to this game. They had a, a lot of stuff that was um, kind of tricky on offense in terms of receivers and their routes. So uh, Bruce was very disciplined as far as DBs with our eyes and, and just basically the whole whole defense just making sure we, we are, we're following our keys um, and just having our eyes right. And then when we see it, we just, you know, make the play. So I think I think that's just the best way to go. Last one here for Justin, Derek Young. Yeah, Justin, you got hurt last week and, and left that game. Just how healthy did you feel throughout the week and in, in, in this game? Um, I was definitely in the training room. Um, Every single day this week, uh, I was I wasn't all the way 100 percent better, but I was I was I was good enough to play. You know, we pushed through certain things. Um, you know, we're we're D1 football players. You're expected to push through little injuries and stuff like that. So I felt like my pain coming into this game wasn't necessary for me to sit out. So I went ahead and pushed through it. But it was definitely it definitely was on the level as last week. I definitely got in the training room. Um, got treatment on it, got better. So it's, it's, it's pretty much good. I'm ready to go. Speaking of being D1, you come from the JUCO level and you are a bounce back. You had been D1 before. So what's this experience kind of mean to you to kind of be back at this level and playing at a high level? Oh, man, it's a, <laughs> it's a blessing. You know, uh, JUCO is an is a, is experience that I don't think any JUCO player would ever forget. So I'm just blessed. I'm um, very thankful for everybody who – Helped me get to this point. All my JUCO coaches, shout out to them, Hush JUCO. Um, yeah, I'm just blessed to be back. And uh, I swear I'm just blessed to be back.